Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing another vlog. I've had, I intended to start this vlog a little bit earlier, but I have had such a busy morning. I have packaged up and sent off all my parcels. I have gone into mm -hmm. town and I have picked up the label gun again to borrow that. I have picked up some more Ziploc bags for my smaller items. I have done a local delivery for an order. I have come home by myself a decaf coffee and now I am going to get stuck in to labelling all the goods for the market. So today is Monday and the market is on Sunday. So we are in the final week of market prep. I feel pretty good, like I've got everything ready, I think. I just need to price everything. Honestly, like last week was, my body was close to giving up. Like I got a cold last week. I, Miss Flo came to visit last week. And then on Saturday, this Saturday, I had a migraine all day. So my body is a little bit stressed out. I have this weird like a rash on my hands I I don't know it's not really a rash it's like little bumps under the skin I did some googling and I think it might be like a stress related rash but my hands are pretty sore um anyway so my body is yeah pretty stressed out my anxiety is quite high but I'm trying to stay positive I really don't have anything to stress about because I'm pretty well ready it's just I don't know, it's just the, like, picking up the trailer on Saturday and then packing everything in and then travelling such a long distance. Like, I hope all the plants travel okay. I hope the market setup goes well. I hope the weather's good. I hope my baby's good. You know, just all those things that I'm thinking about that, like, plays in my subconsciousness, which really, like, wreaks havoc with my anxiety. But, you know, we're going to push through. It's going to be fun. It's gonna be so enjoyable and I'm very very excited to see you all guys there see you all guys there see you all see you guys there see all you guys there <laughs> oh, yeah. my face is probably gonna go really red because I'm drinking a warm coffee the Sun is shining and yeah I think that's all I have to say I'm going to get to pricing some products Okay, I'm going to start off by labelling all these products. So I have Grokinut in the packets and the tubs. I have Clonex Clone Solution. I have Complete Focus, which is Growth Technologies All Purpose Plant Food. And I also have Foliage Focus, which you are sitting on its box. <laughs> its box is the tripod. So I'm going to start pricing these things. If you can see over here, but I have to label all these pots I've got to label the fern fiber and I've got to label all my trellises and then I think that's everything in here that's labeled I've still got my substrate bags so these are all like the potting mixes and the worm poos um, I'm not gonna bag them up until later in the week so they're super super fresh On my last sheet of stickers so I'm gonna have to order some more of those. I just filmed a reel of me labeling all these pots and I do it with this handy contraption so I invested in a proper little setup so I can take photos with this I can film reels with it um, I highly rate this you can pull it up you can flip it over and you can 
turn it upside down so you can like film from above at what you're doing. Um, you can film upright, just normal, and then this is obviously a light. And you can adjust the brightness and you can adjust the different colored lights. Um, yeah, really, really cool little contraption. I got sucked into an Instagram ad and I invested on one. It all folds up till it's just a little square box, but I keep it unfolded because I use it all the time. I just currently have it plugged in because it's charging. But yeah, I thought I would mention that. Um, I just, yeah, I just filmed a reel of me labeling all these square pots. These are such good quality pots. Um, so I sell them for $2.50 and $3.50 each. I know that's like kind of expensive for a little pot but like like <laughs> these are so sturdy I can't stress enough how sturdy they are and they're quite nice looking pots I think. They have epic drainage holes um, but yeah I'm excited to take these down to the market. I hope these labels because they're kind of like frosted on the outside maybe I should have stuck the labels on the inside. They seem to be sticking. So another job done. Okay, so I have labelled all the pots in the box, that box, and up there. I have labelled the fertilisers down the bottom. I've just got this box of trellises to go. I labelled the fern fibre. I've got my little list down here. Now it's almost time for Brody's nap, so I'm going to go inside and have something to eat and then put him down for a nap and then I think I might just chill out while he's asleep and edit another video for YouTube and then when he is awake we're going out to my parents for lunch and then I'll come home and then I think I will spend some time in the greenhouse labeling the plants pricing the plants up so busy day busy day um anyway I will catch back with you after lunch good morning guys it's a new day. It is Tuesday. Yesterday I pretty much spent the afternoon at my parents' house and then when I came home I spontaneously dyed my hair and continued to edit my YouTube video so I didn't really pick up the camera again but today I am going to bring all my stuff for my market into this room so it's all in one place ready to go. I need to get my sign down because I'm going to be bringing that as well. I have a few orders to pack this morning and I have to price all my plants as well. So a busy day. So let's go. So I actually got a new roll of my packaging paper. So the stuff here. Um, but you are currently sitting on the new roll. It makes a good tripod. Anyway, I'm in my office now. I have couple of orders to pack and yeah then I still have to price all my trellis packs that I'm taking with me I need to price the plants yeah I need to stock take everything as well so busy day today it is raining and it's miserable and it's cold oh, look at my hair <laughs> don't judge my hair okay because I really like it it's like a dark pink and then orange at the front. I was going to go orange and then my usual red, but I didn't. I thought I would spice it up a little bit. Actually, I have a little story time while I pack this order. <laughs> like, I'm quite an anxious person. Like, I have anxiety, especially, like, social anxiety. And, one moment. Like this Auckland plant market, it's like a pretty big deal to me and my anxiety is through the roof. I've had quite a few bad dreams about the event being an absolute disaster and last night I just so happened to have one of those dreams. <laughs> and like our minds are so funny because it was Halloween themed, like my dream was Halloween themed, like it was all dark and moody and... and kind of scary but like for some reason I had to man another stall so not my own stall I had to man another stall and then 
so I thought cool like everyone's gonna be at my stall setting it up that'll be fine once I've finished at this stall I will go and man my own stall anyway I finished at the stall it was like 11 a.m. and then I went to go to my stall and like nothing was set up on my stall nothing was set up on Tony's stall like she wasn't even there and the market had started at 9 but in my stall for some reason there were like all these kids toys and stuff like lining all the walls and I had these little tables to set up my plant stuff and I was like to the people who were setting it up I don't even know who these people were but I was like um like I don't want to be rude and you've done such a great job but like this is a plant market I don't really want like kids toys in my stall I want it to be like all my planty stuff <laughs> So I was like stressed to the max, I was trying to set everything up and then like I went to my car to get some more products and then I like got lost trying to find my way back because there was like the main building where all the stalls were and then there was like another building behind that and we were like up a flight of stairs and in this tiny little room like our brains are wild, I don't know how that works. <laughs> That was my dream last night, dream slash nightmare, and I've had a few of these dreams about the market, and they've all been different, but each dream has been like, the market's been an absolute disaster. The first dream I had was, I got there to the market, and I left all of my products back in Whangarei. So I turned up to the market with no stock. Like I'm really hoping these dreams aren't a subtle hint of like what's going to happen. But it's really not putting my mind at ease about the whole situation. So I don't know. I know it's just, I know it's just silly dreams and I know they're not real. And I know that it's going to be an amazing day. I'm going to have so much fun and everything is going to turn out fine. But it's just funny how our minds like to torment us a little bit. <laughs> Especially when we're like an extremely anxious person. Love that for me. Anyway, positive thoughts. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be fun. Um Tony emailed me all the information this morning, so like all the all the um, important things we have to do, like where we have to sign in and where we park and all that good stuff. So that's exciting. It's all it's all happening. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, I'll continue packing now. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my little story time. I have been procrastinating labeling all these because I put them all nice and neatly in their box, and now I have to pull them all out again to label them. Um, but what I do is I just pull up my website, make sure I get the correct pricing for everything. Even though like I do know the pricing, I just like to double check because I'd hate to accidentally get the price wrong on something. Mama. So, trellises are labelled. Woo! Okay, now oh, I still have to do some Velcro, some 5 meter Velcros, and then I can get onto the plants, I think. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Actually, another task I want to complete is I want to put one of these thank you cards that I got made into every one of my carry bags. So when people buy stuff, they can put it in their bags and that way they've got some information in their bag. So I'm going to do that to all of my bags. These are just recycled um, bags from Countdown from my food shopping and I've just put my stamp on them. It's raining outside and I got dripped on. Okay, I'm gonna do that and I will see you soon. Okay, so I managed to move everything bar two boxes into our spare room. So everything is all in one place. I found that these little tags, little price tags with a string, um, just from one of the craft stores, like the dollar stores, and I'm going to go and price all my plants. I don't know if I'm going to use these or I'm just going to stick the label onto the pot. I think I might use these because these will stand out a bit more and people will sort of 
know where the price tag is. I also have my notebook and pen and I'm going to write all the plants down that I'm taking and the prices again so I can keep track of everything. But yeah, let's go to the greenhouse. Yay, the fun part. I did actually manage to pick some plants from the grow tent. She is warm in here. What are we? 25 degrees. Um, where can I put you? I'm going to put you up here on top of my prop box. So I have this tub here. So I've got lots of beautiful Hoya in here. I've got princess, queens, shepherdii. I've got a variegated fishtail. I've got hanging baskets of fishtail and then lots of Hoya kamenjiana. <laughs> Um, this box is another mix of Hoya, so I've got um, Royal Hawaiian Purple, more Kamingiana, I've got a Palsiflora, Carnosa, some Puba Calyx, lots of beautiful big fungi. And in this box I have um, Silver Satin Pothos, what are you called? Golden Pothos, Marble Queen, Brazil. Just normal heart leaf. I've got variegated chain of hearts, variegated string of pearls, and some string of turtles. So, yeah, I've got to price all these. I do have some more plants in some of these boxes, which I'll have to pull out as well. And I've got some big plants outside that I'm going to bring. So, yeah, these are just growing so wild. I wish you could actually tell how big they are on camera. But, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing, pricing all these. Okay, so this is what the little price tag looks like. So these beautiful um, Hoya Crimson Princess are going to be $35. I've got two of these, and I've got two Crimson Queen, which are also going to be $35. Very pretty, and they have multiple growth points. Like this one's got one, two... So one of these cuttings has two growth points, the other one has one, so there's two cuttings in each pot. And if it'll focus, the pink is just so pretty. So yeah, that is sort of what the little price tickets are going to look like. And that way, hopefully, they'll um, they'll be easy for people to find and see what the prices are. That's the other one. And then I'm not going to show you every single plant, but I'll just show you these. That is the beautiful Crimson Queen. So yeah, I'm going to just, basically just going to price everything, and yeah, the sun has come out, and it is almost 30 degrees in here, and I am sweating. So I have one box done, halfway through another, whew, can't wait to get out of here, it's so hot. Um, but yeah, everything's looking amazing. I just wanted to show you guys these Hoya Puba Calyx, like soil's dropping out but look how bushy they are now there is three cuttings you can see there's like the three cuttings but like each cutting has like three or four growth points they're so bushy and these are only gonna be these are only gonna be $25 so these are gonna grow into big bushy beautiful plants but yeah I just thought I'd give a special shout out to these Hi Baba. Okay, I feel like I'm about to pass out, so I'm going to cool off, get some fresh air, but again I just wanted to show you these like I don't know, you know, it's not gonna be able to get the size in the camera, but these are huge. They're Hoya Royal Hawaiian Purples. Thirty dollars for a massive big plant. I'm really proud of all the plants that I have grown. The only ones I haven't grown are the Hoya Kamingiana. I bought them off a planty friend who also grows plants. Um, she was selling them and I thought they would be perfect for the market so I grabbed those but aside from those everything else I've grown and I'm so super proud like they're looking so healthy, so full. I think you guys are going to get really good quality plants. Anyway, I'm going to cool off, make a coffee, have a little break, and then go shoot off to town. 
post my parcel, drop the label gun back, and yeah, I'll see you guys when I get back. So I thought I would show you everything that I have ready. This is most of my stock. There still is a little bit more to come, like there's the soil mixes and another box of stuff. Got my sign there, done all my plants, and yeah, very excited, not long to go. So I think that is it for this market prep video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what it's like prepping for a big market. It's my first like real big market that I've done so a lot of time and effort has gone into this but I think it should be really really cool. I might even do a market vlog. Should I? Or should I or would I be too stressed out? I don't know. I might we'll see. But anyway, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if it's something you enjoy watching and don't forget to subscribe because I will be uploading a lot more planty content and business content so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I'm still recording. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Get to, get to market prepping.